trees so that they don't burn. Keep turning them. And then I'm gonna cover for about five minutes on low heat. After five minutes, you see the color has already changed. And now my garlic is, uh, my gizzard uh, is halfway cooked. So I continue sauteing, I continue uh, making sure that they don't stick. Then I'm starting to add my spices. That's a, a Rico cube and I've added um, paprika. That's chicken masala. And I'm now adding in some salt. Uh, you can use whatever, and that is curry powder. You can use whatever spices you like. You can add soy sauce, you can add oyster sauce, you know, you can, you just play with, with your spices. And then mix it all together. On low heat, don't forget, we are doing all this on low heat. <coughs> if you are using a non-stick, you don't have to worry about the, the sticking of the, you know. So... After this, I added my tomato paste. You can add, uh, you can add, you can blend your tomatoes if you don't want to use tomato paste, or if you don't have tomato paste, you can still use uh, blended tomatoes, or you can just put tomatoes and let them cook uh, well. But I just choose to use tomato paste without adding tomatoes. So make sure you give it a good mix. Good, good mix. And add a little water. You can, uh, if you don't want to add water, you can add... Uh, Is it coconut milk? But I chose to add water because that is what I do. I'm showing you how you guys how I do my gizzards, how I cook my gizzards. It's that easy. I added some water. You can add more and then cover and let it cook on, cook on low heat for about 10 minutes. And your gizzard should be ready by now. If you don't like the crunchiness of uh, capsicum, uh, you can add them when you when you adding your spices. You can add your capsicum then, but because I love the crunchiness, I'm adding it later just here, as you've seen. I'm adding it here so that I can feel the crunchiness of the capsicum. <coughs> 